combat bass limit, our first limit of the tournament. This combat bass limit today weighs 12 pounds, 2 ounces, your new leader. Let's give him a big round of applause. 14 pounds, 5 ounces. Let's give him a big round of applause. Good job. Congratulations. You got a big picture of the bass in his bag today. Thank you, Cliff. Push your back, your buddy. Good looking. Tennessee, one bass in his bag today. Jacobson right there. Another good looking small mouth. Appreciate you fishing with us. One bass today that weighs. Three pounds, 13 ounces. How are you today? Pretty good. Okay. It was tough. I had five bites of practice. I had six today and we three. It's got three solid fish today that weigh. Eight pounds, nine ounces. Currently in fourth place. Good job, man. Thank you, sir. We're paying 17 places on the boat inside today. 16. John, appreciate you being here. Tough day? Yeah. <laughs> He's got three solid fish at weight. Six pounds, eight ounces, curly in first place. Good job. Can't go anywhere without my coffee, Jacob. Jacob, tell me about this lake. Well, this lake, it fished pretty tough today. Um, had a great practice, had about 17 pounds yesterday. Caught all my fish in the shad spawn in the morning, had about 11 keepers yesterday morning. And then went about four hours without a keeper uh, fish yesterday afternoon. And then about the last hour of practice, I had another spot. It was an area about the size of a uh, football field. And I caught four more keepers in there and kind of left them alone. Then they ended up um, trying to do the same thing today, but the shad spawn wasn't going on today. I had, uh, I guess, one area that you had about an hour to go, and that was all you could do for a shad spawn, and they just weren't biting in it. Uh, ended up catching uh one short up in there during the spawn and then moved on and ran down lake all the way to the dam ended up about eight o'clock catching uh one small mouth that was almost four pounds and then uh i was fishing light tackle so i had a quarter ounce shaky head with six pound test and i was i was a nervous wreck the whole time i was fishing with it but uh well tough Hey, have you fished this lake before? I have. I live in Chapel Hill, so I can get to uh, Turkey Creek there in probably about 40 minutes. So I fished it some. Just It's not a lake that I'm in love with. <laughs> it's a tough well, now, you know, uh, uh, Hunter's got a tournament coming up. Is it next week? Next Saturday, yeah. It's a Mac uh, Carmichael Fun Tournament. I'm super excited about that. It's one of the things I look forward to this year, uh, every year, and it goes to a great cause to one of my best friends, and it goes to Vanderbilt Children's Hospital. So kids are always a big part of life, and keeping them healthy is one thing, and being able to donate the money to kind of help help that cause is always a great thing. Well, you know, uh, I don't think he fished it last year. Don't you think he ought to go ahead and register and fish, and then when he, whatever fish he catches, just throw them back in and just don't wait up? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that would be a good thing. And, I mean, we all just do it for fun anyways. It's a good thing to come out and fa friends and family. And this year we've got the jump houses for all the kids and kind of making it more family-oriented kind of deal this year. And it's going to be a really neat deal. I'm excited. Well, you know, uh, uh, he told us something about it over at Faith Sanders Marina, and that's on First and Priest Lake. But uh, now, are, are them jumping houses just going to be for the kids, or is that going to be for the adults, too? Well, if you think you can get in it, go ahead and try it. I might do it a time or two. We'll see. I'm going to have I'm gonna have surgery uh, Tuesday, the week of that, so I'm going to try to get there if I can. Uh, I won't be able to talk very much, I probably, but uh, I hope I hope. Hope I get some good video. But you know, last year what was exciting about the people that won first and second and third place and fifth and tenth and all that money was donated back. That was real good, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. But I think that's a great thing. And I mean, we all just do it for fun, anyways. Any kind of benefit tournaments like that, and any way extra anybody can help out, it's always appreciated. And I really admire all the people that gave the money back last year. And I think that was a great thing. Are you going to be fishing any tournaments coming up? I'm going to do that one, the Matt Carmichael uh, tournament. I'm going to fish it with my dad this year, and then uh, on the 13th, I'm going to fish the BFL on Paris. So that'll be my next big one. 
So hopefully I can just kind of focus on that and get back home. I'm tired of fishing these deep, clear lakes and get back to where I know muddy water and rock. <laughs> well, now, on Percy Priest, you think, you know, that's, that's probably going to be 22, 23 pounds, isn't it? I think it's got a potential to. Uh, I think this high water, I mean, the water will come down, but it's still got the fish that were spawning kind of messed them up a little bit. And I think it's going to be one of those things where, uh, yeah, of course, most of the fish are done spawning now, but of course, some of those big ones wait later. So we'll see. Um, I'd, last year, this time of year, I caught them on jerk baits and uh, a rig, but I don't think that's going to be the case this year. I think it's going to probably be one off a of spinner bait and probably top water or something like that. Well, Jacob, I appreciate you taking time talking to me, and if, and uh, I hope next week the Matt Carmichael tournament uh, for Vanderbilt raised money for the Children's Hospital. I hope that's a big turnout. It should be bigger than it was last year. But any, anything you got, anything you got for Hunter? Man, I I love them to death, and I appreciate everything they do for me and my family as well. So anything I can give back to them and the communities always fun and I'm gonna be there bright and early and uh, my family's coming my kids and my wife and my parents always come so it's a great family thing to just even if you don't fish just come on out and they got plenty of raffle prizes and plenty of uh, silent auction prizes so this year we've they've kind of went above and beyond on all that stuff so that's pretty neat now this year uh maybe you can get in and help help do some interviews for me i'm not going to be able to talk i'm going to have to have some dental surgery done so maybe i can give you the microphone and you know you know most people is going to fish it anyway maybe you can help me out oh yeah we can definitely do that and i'll be more than happy to help you out jacob thanks for taking time adam looks like he might have something yeah he looks like he's got a few in there Probably looks about 13 pounds. I don't know if he's got a kicker in there or not, but look like all healthy keepers. 13 pounds, 12 ounces. Adam's current. They look about like a 13 pound bag there. Did uh, somebody told me that this lake out here produces a whole bunch of stripe and rockfish. You know anything about that? Yeah, I actually caught one probably about six pounds today on a Carolina rig brush hog. I've never done that before in my life. And it caught it in about 25 foot of water, and he nailed. I thought it was a big old smallmouth the way she was fighting, and I never dreamed it'd be a stripe on a Carolina rig. So, they had, a, they had a bunch of boaters up here today, didn't they? Yeah, I can't remember the exact number they said. It seemed like it this morning. They, everywhere I wanted to fish, there was a boat on it. This lake, this lake doesn't spread out like some of the bigger lakes. All right, Jewel. Thank you. Yes, sir, buddy. Tony Eckler. How'd you do out here today? Well, did all right. I was hoping I was going to win, but uh, just got beat out just now by one ounce. So uh, it's it's been a rough day. I was catching all my fish early. I had all my fish by nine o'clock this morning, and I had one two pounder I needed to get rid of and couldn't get rid of it. Where do you live at? Lebanon, Tennessee. Have you fished this lake before? Never been here. Was it, was it was it was it pretty tough compared to Old Hickory or Percy Priest? Well, it's real similar to Center Hill. I mean, to me, it fishes just like Center Hill. So I fish Center Hill a little bit. So it's I pretty much did what I would do if I was at Center Hill. Well, was, uh, but you said you got all your fish early this morning? Yeah, I did. There was a shad spawn going on, and it was actually, we got kind of a late start, so I was kind of worried, and uh, I didn't have a fish in the first hour. Now I take that back, I had one Kentucky in the first hour, so I was actually really worried. But then I caught all those fish in the second hour of the tournament, and then never could call anymore after that. <laughs> Well, shucks. Well, you don't ever know. I mean, being the first time on this lake, I think you're doing pretty good. Oh, yeah. I'm happy. I'm happy. I, uh, I actually came up and practiced for a couple of days, and I caught 13 to 16 pounds every day I've been here. So it was real consistent for me. Well, sir, thank you for spending time talking to us and telling me about your day. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. All right, folks, if you're going to pull these big boats, these uh, 50, 60,000, and 70,000 dollar bass boats around, uh, different lakes from place to place. Y'all need a truck that's going to pull it. Y'all need to check out this next commercial coming up. It's mid 10 forward. Y'all check them out. My family's been selling Fords for four generations. We have the full line of Ford crossovers, transits, SUVs, and F-Series here at mid 10 Ford. The F-150 is still the best selling truck in America, and we have super duty pickups to fit your business or personal needs. Visit mid 10 Ford's Power Stroke Diesel Parts and Services. We're your Ford Commercial Vehicle Center. 
Let our family take care of your family here at Mid-10 Ford. Got Bill Merritt with me. Bill, how you doing today? Doing pretty good, pretty good. How'd you do? I had 13, 13, almost 14 pounds. Have you been on this lake before? I have. I used to fish PBF out here a long time ago. It's been about eight or nine years since I've been out here, but um, and I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember it. That's for sure. It, it, is this lake is 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 it compared like uh, Percy Priest or Old Hickory? Probably more, a little bit more like Center Hill. Um, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty deep. It's pretty clear in spots. You know, it's a little windy today. There's some muddy water, but uh, mostly fish were up shallow. There's a shad spawn going on. So, so I must guess when. So you fish shallow or deep? Well, I fish shallow over deep. You know, I caught most of them suspended. I was fishing over 40 feet most of the time, but only fishing down about two or three feet. A lot of the shad were up right underneath the docks and stuff like that. You'd catch them along the edges of the docks. Oh heck! Now next weekend, are you going to be fishing that uh, Mac Mac Carmichael tournament? I can't this year. I have a, a BFL. I'm fishing that uh, Mountain Division, and I've got uh, one up on Lake Cumberland. Now, how far away is that out of Nashville? It's about an hour and a half, two hours. So that's like going up 24? Uh, you actually go up 40 uh, east. It's up in uh, Kentucky up there. Oh, heck. Oh, heck. Well, so you had fun here today. I did. I had a good time. We caught a, caught a lot of fish. I called a couple times. Caught some fish that didn't matter. Um, Coangler had three that had almost eight pounds. So he was pretty happy. I think he'll do all right, too. Well, Bill, thanks for taking time visiting with me. Absolutely appreciate it. All right, folks, there you go. Sir, what's your name? Uh, John Davenport. And where do you live? Uh, Huntsville, Alabama. Well, that's nice. You got a nice lake down there, don't you? Uh, yes, sir. Not as good as this one. It pays a little bit better up here this time, but I was actually from here. Born and raised in Estill. Yeah, somebody told me a while ago, a gentleman standing over here told me you you grew up here. Yes, sir. It, it played a big part into it, too. The creek I caught my big fish in, I spent my whole childhood of wading around in it and everything. So when I asked my boater to go up in there, I think I was able to catch all this fish because I knew it so well, you know, I'd walk around that <laughs> creek all, you know. Did, uh, hold your trophy up there so they can see it there. And what, uh, what'd you have at, as a co-angler? 12, three, I believe I had. 12, three? Yes, sir. So, um, I caught my fish, um, really just junk fishing, you know. Uh, I come up here and I knew what was going on. My brother-in-law, he was on some good fish and he keyed me in on it. So, um, I was able to pitch a D-bomb in those beds and these sunglasses played a big deal too. My my boater wasn't able to see the beds. I was able to see all the beds with these and I caught after I got What kind of glasses are they? These are Wiley X's. Um, after I got my limit, I give him these and he was able to catch some of his. So he couldn't see them with his coasters on. All right, sir. Thanks for taking time to talk to me. All right. My family's been selling Fords for four generations. Transits that meet all transportation safety standards with 8 to 15 passenger capacity and 3 roof heights. F-Series pickups and big Ford trucks like the F-450 through 750. Mid-10 Ford is your business truck expert, specializing in custom upfits and commercial lines of credit to meet your business needs. Our Power Stroke Diesel Parts and Service Center make Mid-10 Ford your Ford commercial vehicle center. Let our family take care of your family here at Mid-10 Ford. What's your name? Greg Rollins. Where are you from? Mount Eagle, Tennessee. That's not very far from here, is it? Not very far at all. Well, what would you end up winning today in pounds? I had 15-15, all smallmouth. Did, uh, did you have five fish? I did have five fish. We caught fish uh, uh, most of the day. Probably had two, uh, 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 two limits. Uh, lost a couple of good fish. It probably, I thought, took me out of the leadership bracket but uh it worked out well shoot are you are you uh this lake here what's the name of this lake tim's ford lake are you ha, have you been on it before oh yeah yeah i I've, if i've got a home lake this is it uh i grew up fishing here with my father probably back in the late 70s uh early 80s and know the lake well uh it fishes uh tough at times but uh right now it's pretty strong is this lake known for its rock fish and stripe up here? You know, it's got a lot of uh, rock fish in it. We caught some this week, probably some 10 or 12 pounders bass fishing. Uh, 
but I typically don't target them. We we uh, we we focus on the smallmouth, but as a rule, when you find uh, uh, one or the other, uh, they'll both be there. Really? So you're just out here t fishing for smallmouth and caught some of them, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, sir, I just want to say congratulations to you, and uh, you done well, and I'll see you next time. Thank you, sir.